allowed to do what we want to do. From what age do the girls have to cover their face? From 10 years. I want to be a journalist. The girl must be covered from head to feet as she reaches the adult center. Is this oppression or tradition? I was recently invited to Bhatkal in the south of India. It's a really conservative community of about 50,000 Muslims. And everywhere I went to speak, I asked the same question. Why are there no women in this room? There's not one woman in this room here today. <coughs> Why were there no women here? And at every event, they gave the same answer. There really isn't a lot of intermingling between the two sexes. One of the reasons why you haven't found a lot of women. And then finally, I had the opportunity to do a workshop with a group of schoolgirls. Assalamu alaikum! Wa What is this place called? Wa Behind the veils, these are real girls with real names and real ambitions. My name is Mazia. Umra. Aina. Kulsum. Raja. Amara. Ilfa. Ila. <laughs> and what do you want to do when you finish school? Doctor. Artist. Civil officer. Software engineer. Lawyer. Teacher. Everybody wants to be a doctor in this room. <laughs> I want to be a journalist. <laughs> I want to be a journalist. But here is the problem. We're not supposed to use social media. Why? Our elders don't allow us to use. Why not? Ask them. What else are we not allowed? We're not allowed to do what we want to do because it comes under our family's name. Because it says it's so-and-so's daughter, so-and-so's granddaughter. They're not allowed to do what we want to do. This is rubbish. And what about the boys? Boys, they are given more freedom than the girls. And how are we going to fix it? We'll have to try with the journalism. <laughs> I asked the girls what issues they had in their communities, and there were many. But the niqab, or the covering of the face, wasn't one of them. And people think that we are forced to wear it, but that isn't the case. Hijab is our choice. Hijab is not just a piece of cloth, it is a way of life. We cover ourselves to avoid the unwanted gaze, because face is the focus of temptation and desire. Myself, Ariba, I would like to be called as a proud hijabi. Shukran. But when I ask some of the men and teachers who work in the schools and madrasas if the niqab is compulsory, they said, A girl must be covered from head to feet. During the time of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they used to open only one eyes so that they could see the road. The niqab is a complicated issue. For some, it's a choice. For others, it seems like a cultural expectation. Ah!